So you just witnessed the magic of Ed Dini. Yep. What did you think? I think he's amazing. Yeah? He is the David Blaine of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The David Blaine of Portsmouth? <laughs> yeah. How long have you been down here, Ed Dini? How long have you been practicing magic down here? I've been here eight summers, but I've been a magician for about 14 years. Where'd you come from? I was born and raised in Florida. Okay. How'd you learn your craft? Uh, reading books at the library, buying tricks, just collecting them, um, some natural talent, um, and, uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> Think very good thoughts. By doing that, check it out, Jim. Check it out. One card turned red. One card turned red. Now watch. We're going to see what card happens to be the only card in the deck that turned red. Did you have a uh, three of spades? I did. Hold out your hand. I'm going to try something. Take your other hand. Put it right on top. Hold that tight. Don't let go. I'm going to have you do something. Yes, I'm going to go through, say stop, wherever you like. Take that card, show that around. Don't let me see it. I'm going to read her mind. You got it? And put it back in when you're done. Now, it's important that I don't see that card. Concentrate really hard on it. What I'm getting is a red seven. Look in my eyes. Seven of hearts. But you know what? You know how I knew that? That, that? That's very easy. That's the one card that, that I love to keep inside my hat. Here. Look, I'll take that card and put it back in the deck. Now, I'm going to see if I can make it turn red. I'll see if I can make that card turn red like the very first card. Push the button down. It beeps. Now, look, you go through, you'll see another red card. I don't see a red card, but you know what? He chose that card that he's been holding, I can't touch before you chose yours. Go ahead, turn it over, show it to one. Better not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Make sure the camera gets a good look at it. It was. That's unbelievable. We got a borrowed quarter, look. I will fold this quarter up like this. Check it out. Again, all different and so on. Um, I'm going to have you point your finger out. And as I do that, one by one, point to a card. That one. Take it out, show it to everyone. Don't let me see it. Tell me when you're done. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. We're, we're, okay, now look. I'm going to put it on top, but I'm not going to look at it. Yeah. I will put it in like this, so it goes in. Now watch. I'll take the cards, give them a couple of more cuts like so. Yeah. <laughs> now look, I put the wrapped quarter on top of the deck like so. <laughs> Just like that, you can see the wrapped quarter on top of the deck. Now watch. And it literally burns a hole through the deck disintegrating it. Got a real hole going through. The card is stopped burning on. Oh! The seven of oh. clubs. Oh! Seven of clubs. <laughs> Dude, it's good! What are you talking about? I'm gonna try something. This is gonna be kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna have you pull a card out, write your name on it, with the name written on the card. If it were to appear somewhere else, you would know it's the same card, not a duplicate. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and take a card, write your name on it. It's okay if I see, I'm gonna be looking anyway. Write your name on it, show it to the camera, and write your name on it. Yeah, that side. All right, very good. Oh. All right, check this out. Then I will do some metal bending for you, but look, that's his name right there. The Eight of Spades, watch. We'll take that card, we'll put it in the middle of the deck like that. All you gotta do is snap the fingers, it jumps to the top. Now look, we'll take that card again. 
No funny moves. With one finger, I put it in. With one finger, I turn the top card over. Now, sometimes I do this. People say maybe, and look at the top card right now. It's a three of hearts. But look, sometimes people say, well, don't lie. Put, put the card in and show it to us before you put it in. So you can do that. And you can see, whoops, you can see just like this, it does go in. Now watch. All I have to do is snap my fingers, it jumps up. Now watch this. We'll take that card, put it in the middle. Well, that's not quite the middle. Hold that part. Now watch. We'll go like this. I will not go near that deck at all, but look. We snap and it jumps to the... You know what? You're holding the top. Turn the top card over. Show it to the camera. <laughs> Just like that. Now watch. Watch. It gets better. Check it out. Look, we're going to take his card again. Look, we're going to take the Eight of Spades. It has his name on it. Eight of Spades and put it back in the deck. Just like this. Do you think I can make that Eight of Spades jump to the top? It'd be easy if I took it and put it on top. That would be the easy part. But look, I will make it disappear from the deck totally. Check it out. And you can see it right there. Now look, we'll put it inside. Just like this. And put this inside. Blow on the deck. Just like that. And you'll see his card is no longer in the deck. Now watch. With my empty hand, I will reach in my wallet. Sleeve rolled up. We'll see if his card is inside the wallet. Pull that out. See if that's your card. Oh, show the camera. Read what it says. Uh, last instructions. Look inside in a wallet. But make sure you're watching my hands the whole time. Now look. Nothing funny, but check it out. Just like this. Inside two wallets, which would be even more impressive, is the card. <laughs> I went That's living. yours. That's a souvenir. <laughs> All right, huh? Unbelievable, right? How do you think he does those tricks? I think he just uses his visualization and his mind and stuff. Here, I will show you something with some forks. Shit, he put my fork. Yeah, totally. And he gets my number. Now, this is more what I call mentalism. Mentalism is what you'd see like Yuri Geller or the Amazing Kreskin. It's kind of like magic, but it's magic of the mind. It's where you make predictions or you read someone's thoughts or you bend metal. I'm going to try to bend some metal. Look, you can see they match. You see, one will be a standard fork to prove what's going on, to, to see how much the other bends compared to it. Uh, look those over, Jim. Make sure those are solid forks. They, they do bend, but you'd have to put yep. a lot of pressure. Yeah, no, they look pretty good. Those are real forks, six for a dollar at Walmart. Now, now, Jim, come up this way. You, you, you look like the type of psychic energy. <laughs> come up this way, take your hand, put it on top. Now what I want you to do is rub it, but don't move the fork, just rub it rub lightly. It. You do it, you rub it? Yeah. By so. doing that, you're going to feel some heat about right now. You're going to feel this part start to raise up against your palm. Now I haven't touched this fork, it's in his hands. Lift your hand up, show it to the camera. Now look, you could see the two bends, or you could see the two forks, oh, one's bent even more. Now watch. The, 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 this is kind of freaky, I think. I, I don't know. But, but, but to take the, the, the finger you, you're good with. Make sure the camera gets this. This is very <laughs> visual. I want you to rub right here, but don't block this part, but rub right there. All right. All right. It's a little weird. Just I'm like that, it bends. You're still going to bend your finger. Now look. Be around. Be around. It's even more around. bent. Now look. You're around now? See, yeah, around. check it out more if you like. Yep. Now, 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 this is the good part. Check it out. Look. We'll take it. We'll go like this. Bend. 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 Huh? Just like that, and it bends before your eyes. The fork was looked at beforehand. Go, go, go ahead, look at that if you like. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty solid. That, that, that's pretty solid. Yeah. Now, look. I'm going to do this directly for the camera. Check it out, solid fork. Now watch. Just like that, and you can see the neck has bent. The forks were examined beforehand. 
just like that, a bent fort. Sardini, is this, what else do you do? Is this what you do? Are you a full-time magician? Uh, Semi-pro, yeah. Yeah? Where yeah. else do you go other than here? Uh, I, I get hired for birthday parties yeah. occasionally or uh, small banquets. Okay. Uh, I don't do a lot of stage stuff. Um, I'm also into es um, escape artist stuff. Really? Down in Florida, I have a couple of videotapes. Actually, down in Florida, I was videotaped um, being chained up. Uh, I was handcuffed behind my back, and I escaped while I was underwater. Okay. But I had a two-minute safety time, and I practiced it six months. I practiced the speed and all that. Um, but it's been about eight been about eight years since I've done it. I've only done it four times since I've been up here because it's kind of hard to get a place that would let you do that. Whereas in Florida, there's swimming pools everywhere. I'm, I'm going to try something with mind reading. Uh, th 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 this is something you have not seen. I want to see this. Check this out. We got some symbol cards. I'm going to be honest, I do not always get this right. Now they're blank for a reason. If they had patterns, people might say they're marked or something. You can see there's different symbols on in there. And they're all white. They're all cut the same. You, you know, you can look at them and so on. Got like an arrow, a boat, um, a square going in a circle, and so on. Now, like I said, I do not always get this right. What I want you to do is take the cards and cut them. That way I don't know where we're going to start from. So, so, so cut them as a little mix. Okay, now watch. What I'd like you to do is cut these cards and, the, and you take the cut off portion here. And this would be the card you cut to. You'd look at it. You'd show it around to everyone. I'm going to turn my back so, so you don't think I can see through it. With bright light, you can. But I want you to show it to everyone. Then I want you to hold it to your chest, OK? okay. So take the cards, cut them, and put them down. Just like that. Take that card, show that around to everyone. I'm not going to look. Anybody see that? Camera? Are you done? Yep, all done. Now there's no way I can know what that is. All the cards are blank. All the cards are blank. Concentrate very hard. I was going to draw it, but I don't think I have to. Send me the thought. I'm sending it. It's not a door. But but it is it is straight lines. Concentrate. I'm getting a lightning bolt. Was that it? <laughs> I got it. A lightning bolt. Got it. It's a lightning bolt. And he could add any one of these, and they're all blank, as I was saying before. So are you able to how, are you able to make a decent amount of money out here on the course of the weekends? Um, on a good weekend. Two nights, which is from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., uh -huh. I, I can make up to $200 or more. Per night or over the course of two nights? Uh, on the course of the two yeah. nights. Now, do you live around here? Do you live in Portsmouth? Or do you yep, just a couple streets over. You, uh, so you work till like 2 o'clock in the morning, right? Yep. So what, what is there a difference between people that come by at, say, 9 or 10 o'clock at night versus when the bar is let out and uh, people have been uh, drinking quite a bit and partying? Uh, do you ever have any problems? Yes. Last summer, I actually had a guy. I was doing the trick with the wallet. He came right next to me. He undid his zipper. He started peeing on me. Literally. Then, then I moved, I, I, I moved my, my, my uh, stand, and he followed me, peeing on me. Oh, my God. I, he turned around. I almost uh, cold-cocked him. But, but then um, the cops came, and uh, I don't know what happened to him. But, but then I've had people uh, tip me 20s. Uh, one time in five minutes, I got $45, the one where the card changes in the hand. Yeah. A, a guy gave me 20 bucks, and his friend's like, oh, don't give him that much. 
I did it to his friend. He gave me 20 bucks, and I did something else, and then the first guy gave me five. So in five minutes, I made like $45, and I had some friends standing next to me, and they're like, wow, I don't even make that in a day. So Awesome. So, yeah. Are you single? You ever been married? Family? I was engaged when I was 20. I am looking for Mrs. Wright. Um... I, I, I feel like I feel like my time clock's ticking. I'd like to get married by the time I'm 30. Um, it was by the time I was 25, but that happens. And I'd like to have some kids sure. while, while I still have energy to raise them. Little Edinis. Yeah, little little Edinis doing magic or Ediniets. You <laughs> never know. Yeah, you know that, that 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 would be awesome. So how does a single magician living in Portsmouth meet the right woman? See, so see, that's the problem. Um, d during the winter, I, I, I don't do a whole lot, but, but, but I'm not really a bar person or a club person. You know, I'm on the internet a lot. Um, there's a nice place called myspace.com that you can look up people within 10 miles of your area code. Yeah. And, and, and also, I'm, 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 I'm strong Catholic, and, and I think if God wants me to meet someone, you know, he, he'll put them in my life. Right. So, right. but uh, but yeah, I'm not really a bar person. And I'd love to meet someone doing this, you know, just have some girl come up and just like really, hey, I've been waiting that for quite a few summers, you know, just, <laughs> and just kind of hang around after people leave and just start talking, you know, that would be cool. Yeah. How do women respond to, when you tell them I'm, I'm a magician? Some people freak out, you know, if I do tricks, you know, I've had people run and scream down the street and and so on. I, I, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It really is. Um, some girls like it. Uh, it depends. Um, you know, some girls are, are a little afraid of it, but hey. What are some of any other crazy stories or things you've seen in, like in the square when you've been working? A couple of years, a couple of years ago, there's this drunk guy who, who got in a fight with some guy who was developmentally disabled. Almost knocked my stand over, kicked him in the face. Um, I think there's a door over there. Almost knocked him through the door. I had to write an incident report. Um, you, you get lots of crazy people. Um, but 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 it's a lot of fun, you know. I've been doing it eight summers. I meet lots of new people. And uh, it's, it's cool, you know, I like it. Right. This is a really good trick for the camera. All right, good. And this is good for, for a close up. All right. Should I get your hands? Or... I got it. Maybe we can analyze this and see how he does these tricks. <laughs> yeah, look. So you got four aces down there. My sleeves are rolled up, four aces. And the cards are all different. Check it out. The box is completely empty. Nothing hidden inside the box. You can verify that. Yeah, nothing in there. All right, now look. What I'm going to do is deal three cards on each of the aces. Only three. Only three. And don't, don't matter which three they are. Only three. The rest of the deck we don't need. Now this pile is the leader pile because spade is highest in suit. So we'll take that pile and put it inside the box where I can't touch it or anything. Hold on to that. He's holding that. I can't go near it or touch it. Just hold, hold it like that. Now look. Ace of Diamonds. That's the first to go. Watch. Sleeves rolled up. Ace of Diamonds. We rub it on the table. That one disappears. Just like that. Now look. Ace of Clubs. That's the only one face up. You can see it to the last second until I snap it. You got one, two, three, four. I can count them again. One, two, three, four. I show you the front and back of each. Let me see one of your hands. Now watch this very carefully. Look, ace of hearts. I'm going to put it in his hand. That way I can't do nothing funny. Put your hand on top of it. I snap. Turn it over. Show it to the camera and to everyone. See, it vanishes, just like that. Now watch. That one is gone as well. So there's no aces anywhere. See, there's no aces, 
No, nothing. Now look, I have not been near that box at all, getting the camera view. Now I'm not even gonna open the box. You might think I'm sneaking something in. Take out the cards and show them to everyone. And, and fan them out. Make sure they see each one. Look, we've got four aces. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. It's wild. Hey, please. You ever get this when people don't tip you? They come in free load? Sometimes, I mean, I, I understand people being low on money. Yeah. Um, but. You know, I got like a five and a and a ten earlier. Occasionally, I'll get twenties. So, so that kind of covers in people, but it, 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 it's it's the people that are like really dressed nice, and you know, looks like they come from a fancy dinner, yeah. and that they they sit and watch and watch, and they don't tip, or if it's the same people that do it over and over. Then, then that does irk me a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Here, I'll show you something. Magic by Eddie. Hat tricks. All right. So let's see what you got. I also uh, do fork bending. Now that's something you don't see David Blaine do. Make metal bend. Pull out a card. You can see they're all different, I shuffle them. And uh, get a good look, you can show it to the camera. No, um, well, that's fine. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Uh, say stop where you like. Let me try ripping your thumb off. Stop. Put it in, face down. Yeah. Now, I, I, I don't know if I can do this, I'm gonna try it, now look. I'll take and give them a shuffle. Now, a lot of times, magicians will not let you uh, shuffle the cards. So, so I, I will let you shuffle them. Here, here, you mix them up. A lot of times, magicians won't let you do that. They won't let you handle their cards. Yeah, right, I know that. What? It's not done yet, not done yet. Now, look. Check it out. This is your card. If that's not your card, don't tell me what it is. That's your card. No? Hold out your hand. Now watch. Take your other hand, put it on top. Your other hand. Hold it tight. Now, I can't touch it or do anything with you holding it. Just yeah. think six of hearts, six of hearts, six of hearts. Now, you've been holding it the whole time. Turn it over. That's pretty good. Yeah, All the cards are different, okay? This is wicked way to kind of try, by the way. What I want you to do is point your finger out like that. Point your finger out like that. I'm going to go through all the cards. Like I said, they're all different. And what I want you to do is point to the card as my thumb touches it. Point to one. Keep going. I did this trick, by the way. It's cool. <laughs> no, 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 don't do it now. It's not it? No, wait. Dan, tell me when. Wait. Right now. I'm going with no, this no. one. Oh! That was the one I want. Which one? This one? No, the one, one right there. Get your thumb on it. Right no, there. Which one? I want that one, one right there. Touched. Yeah, that one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, the last one. Yeah. No, not that one. <laughs> that oh one. my god! You're annoying! I want that one. This, this one. one. You're right. Yeah, you're right. This is the one I want. Go ahead. Look at it. Show it around. Can I interview? Can I interview? Okay. Okay, it's the Ace of Spades. Everybody's here. Ace of Spades! No, it's okay if I see it. I'm gonna tear it up and put it back together. You already two of saw hearts. It. Now look. You have two two of hearts in there. No, now now look. I'm gonna tear it in that way. Two of hearts. No. Oh, no. All right. Well, I drank a lot. Okay. <laughs> now look. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Any song. song. No clothes. Now that's a song, right? Then. Hey, okay, look. See, see if that corner matches. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait a second. Get a phone call. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. It is. Now look. Now look. That that's an exact match. I'm gonna see if I can tear the card and make it back into one piece. Okay, Hold that as a receipt. 
Yes, sir. Now watch. Kenton Gear. <laughs> That's your last name. <laughs> you got it. You it is Kenton Gear. I'll give that as magic. The fact that you're right. Can I look in the back? Now watch. Can I, back? Can I, back? Can I see your assistant's breast? Can I see your assistant's breast? Hold on a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. She already got in trouble. Oh, oh, I know her, too. Watch. Put your mouth right on it. Pepper Miller. Give it a good one. Just like this. Whoa, whoa. Now watch. Dad just got real watch. big. Watch this. Check out how good it looks. Check I have not look. been under that garbage can at all. Go look <laughs> under the garbage can. Make sure the camera right. can pan so under I the I garbage can. Look at the garbage can. No, that's all right. See, I know everybody. knows name. That's not a duplicate to a heart. Make sure that corner matches. That's pretty fucking insane, dude. Now look, I made it appear under a garbage can, and look, and it's an exact match. An exact match. Have that as a souvenir. Oh my god, that was fucking insane. Uh, and it's all back together, not all in. That was pretty fucking cool, dude. Yes, that's a trash can, buddy. Give that guy some money on that. That's pretty fucking cool. Dude, I'll give you what. That's fucking pretty cool, dude. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. That's pretty cool. Did you see that shit? Have a good night, boys. I'm kind of I'm interested that you're here. You know, you you love doing magic. Um, you know, you said it's kind of your your passion in a sense. What? Where do you see yourself going with this? Where would you like to be five years from now, ten years from now? Um, I'd like to do more with it, just as just as far as getting more bookings. Um, I would like to be discovered yeah. by someone big. Um, I, I I I need to put more into it. I I want to buy another case like this, similar, yeah. for my hired shows. Um, but. I, I still want to do my street magic, I love it, but during the week and during the winter, I, I want to do bigger shows. That's kind of what my plan is. Okay. Um, you, you know, uh, and if I happen to get really famous as a result, even better. But, but, but I just want to be kind of in the area, you know, just be like the magician of Portsmouth. Uh, and so on. So, right. so that's if, that, if you had one dream, is that what it would be? Is that your dream? That and to get married and have kids. Yeah, we talked about that. Yes. You now have one year exactly at Dini. You said you wanted to be married by the time you were thirty. Yeah. <laughs> it might happen. I, I, I pray about it. Yeah, but you, you said, I found that interesting when you said that um, that you're Catholic, and you said that if you said that if God wanted you to meet somebody, then it would happen, and that's that's a strong faith. You know, yeah, and faith and hope are really linked. Yes, and so you you must you obviously you must have a degree of hope in terms of that and your your dreams of your your magic. Or that. Yes. Um, but, but, but like I said, you know, my, my passion is magic and meeting the right person and uh, pleasing God. You know, you know that's that's, that's it's kind of my my thing. That's great. Well, we love what you're doing out here. I mean, people obviously do love it. Yes, I, I and I love doing it. Um, yeah, I, I I love to do it. People like it. I've been doing it eight summers, and and I have a lot of repeats and regulars that watch me do my magic. What the fuck just happened? Are you kidding me? 